Hi, Paul. This is uh, Paul Zintarski. We are here at Naperville Central. Paul is the famous PE coordinator for our school for many, many years, and now he's just a consultant um, for different programs. And Paul, would you answer a question for me? Um, why do kids do better after exercise? Good question, Dave. It's all about the science. And what we need to understand is our brains have all of these brain cells in it. And the brain cells, however, are not connected and they don't touch. There's always a gap between brain cells. And the gap between brain cells is what we call the brain synapses. Well, information must pass from one brain cell to another for us to function properly. What controls that flow of information back and forth be between brain cells are chemicals called neurotransmitters. So it's those neurotransmitters that are responsible for all of our feelings and, and, and what we do in, in terms of, um, of thinking and, and acting. So over here at the board, we, get, we know that we get an absolute explosion of these three chemicals in our brain every time we exercise. The first of which is dopamine. And that's responsible for reward, pleasure, motivation, and drive. That's that opiate. Um, it's that feel good after, after we work out. It's, and I always say, I'm 66 and I'm still waiting for my first runner's high because it hasn't happened. Anybody who's told you that exercise is fun has lied to you. It's work. If it doesn't work, it's not true exercise. But we now know that dopamine helps us with reward, pleasure, motivation, and drive. The other, another chemical that that's, comes into play is serotonin. And that deals with obsessions and compulsions and memory. Things that we have to be concerned about with our students in school. The other uh, chemical is norepinephrine. And that again, that deals with alertness, concentration, and energy. Things once more that we have to be concerned about with our students in school. Now these chemicals, they don't sit in isolation. They have a tendency to mix and match. So when you take the combination of dopamine and serotonin together, you're dealing with appetite, sex, and aggression. And the way I always explain this is, after, generally after a really hard workout, you're not hungry. Thirsty, yes, but an hour or two after that workout, then the calorie burn sets in, and now you're hungry. But So that combination helps us suppress our appetite initially. When you look at serotonin and norepinephrine, that combination helps us deal with anxiety, impulse, and irritability. Well, in the pharmaceutical world, those are Prozac and Xanax, those antidepressant drugs that people keep pushing on us, the pharmaceutical companies. We don't need those as long as we're exercising effectively and continuously throughout our lives. Occasionally, uh, a whole series of things may add up and we become to a deep state of a deep state of depression, and we may have to take something to get us out of it. But once we get our norepinephrine and serotonin balanced again, we're normal. When you look at dopamine and norepinephrine, that helps us deal with attention. Again, in the pharmaceutical world, as we teachers are aware of, that's nothing more than Adderall and Ritalin. And we have all of these students who are diagnosed with ADD. I mean, it's to the point now where almost a third of our students are diagnosed with some form of ADD. Well, they're not, they don't have ADD, they're just under exercise. They're not getting enough activity to keep that attention system going in, in, their, in their brain. When you take all three of these together, uh, what you're affecting then is mood and cognitive function. And what we now know is through a, a number of school districts is when you have a when you've gone from, let's say, one day a week PE at the elementary level to five days a week PE, in really tough inner city school situations, not only have they seen their academic performances increase, but they've seen a decrease in disciplinary referrals and, and violence in those schools. So it's th this neurochemistry that comes to play in the brain, and that's why kids do better in school as a result of exercise.